Welcome to Growing Your Own Food in Your Own Backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I'm doing an experiment with starting my tomato seeds and my bell pepper seeds in eggshells. Eggshells have a lot of calcium and hopefully starting my seedlings in the eggshells will probably help the seedlings absorb calcium into their plants. Last summer I was adding quite a bit of supplement, excuse me, calcium supplements to my bell pepper plants to help with the absorption of calcium so that I wouldn't get blossom end rot and I was successful. However, unless you've got quite a bit of calcium in the soil at the very beginning of the plants, plants, these plants have a tendency not to absorb calcium very well. So I decided to go ahead and start these seedlings in the eggshells. And as you can see, I have my red bell pepper seedlings coming up. I have my yellow bell pepper seedlings coming up. And then of course I have my tomato Baxter bush cherry seeds coming up. So I'm going to see if this is really going to give these bell pepper and tomato plants a head start in calcium absorption as a result of starting the seeds in the eggshells. Now it's time to transplant this yellow bell pepper seedling. This is actually a store-bought seed from organic yellow bell pepper. And I have already been successful in transplanting one of these organic cherry bush tomato plant in a pot. So as these seedlings start putting on new leaves, it's time to transplant. Now the first set of leaves right here were the first set of leaves. Those aren't leaves, those are actually seeds, food, storage structures, or what they call embryonic leaves. And these leaf in their seed bearing plants, one or more of which are the first leaves to appear from the germinating seeds that eventually will be lost. The second subsequent sets are actually true leaves. And they resemble the mature plant leaves. And this is where they're at the stage where I really need to transplant them into a bigger pot. And then I need to start fertilizing these seedlings when they're an inch or two tall or when they have their second set of true leaves, which these do right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make room to put the whole eggshell in the pot. Now what I need to do is I need to determine which of these seedlings are the strongest one because I don't want to plant all of them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one and never pull your seedlings from the soil. You just want to cut right on the top of the soil. This seems to be the strongest and the most healthiest seedlings. So I'm going to go ahead and, and keep this and then I'm going to crush the eggshells just like this and I'm going to put it right in the pot just like that. Then I'm going to backfill it with soil. And I'm making a mess but hey sometimes you can't always be nice and neat when you're doing this type of work. I'm going to go ahead and backfill it. Now in this experiment, what I'm trying to do is give these bell pepper seedlings and tomato seedlings a head start with being able to absorb calcium to try to prevent the cal excuse me, the blossom end rot that's very typical with tomatoes and bell peppers. Okay, now I have backfilled this plant here. The soil is already moist, 
so I'm not going to add water to it because I've already moistened the soil. And I'm going to go ahead and put my tag in there. So I transplanted a seedling to this particular pot and it's growing wonderfully. Again, this is my tomato cherry Baxter bush plant and it's doing really nice. So this one was ready to be transplanted and hopefully I would be very successful with this one as well. So I'll keep you posted on how this experiment and this project is coming along. I can't wait until this summer to see how well the plants do with absorbing calcium in the plants. I probably would have to add some supplements to the soil, but we shall see. I'll keep you posted on my success.